Well, and thank you for joining us on Journalist Hangout on Sunday. I am Olajumoke Olatunji. Today on the program, House of Representatives fails to effect 50% pay cut, blames bureaucracy. Report says Moribonda Jaukuta Steel Company workers got 38.9 billion naira salaries in 10 years. Senate probes $1.5 billion spent on Port Harcourt refinery rehabilitation as Nigerians uh, berate federal government over endless takeoff announcement of the refinery. An economist and CEO of Dairy Hills, Kelvin Emanuel, will join us for that discussion. And later on the show, 400 terrorists, others still at large, two years after QJ jailbreak. A security analyst, Omeja, will join us for that discussion as well. Today, I will be hanging out with Adewale Adeoye and Adekule Yusuf. Gentlemen, good afternoon to you. Welcome to Journalist Hangouts. Good afternoon. Good Journalist Hangouts starts now. <clears throat> While others bemoaned his exploitation of the banking and the telecommunications company in the country. Gentlemen, when you, I don't know if you've seen this video, but I mean, there's a video out there. What was your first reaction? Adewale? Well, Well... <clears throat> Following the consistent trends uh, in Nigeria since uh, 2009 that uh, terrorism began and the way the Nigerian state has responded to terrorism and so many things that the terrorists have done that were heartbreaking shocking, amazing. I felt that terrorism has become uh, an institution in Nigeria. Mm. Um, because we have seen so many instances they went into military barracks, they kicked generals in the army, they bombed uh, train stations, you know, cut away people. They come in daylight Sometimes take about one to one hundred people. They storm Kuge prisons. So what we are seeing is audacity of terrorism. And then we have seen so many cases where people are kidnapped. They will send messages, they will make phone calls, and nothing happened. Mm. I've had relations who are victims that they have to pay ransom, our friends, our cousins. And all along, they use telephone as means of communication. And nothing happened. They were even threatening people and all that. So, the audacity of terrorism is reality in Nigeria. So, I think it's a reflection of lawlessness. It's a reflection of how weak the Nigerian state security apparatus is. And the fact that anybody can just ridicule Nigeria and go away with it. So, I think the Terrorism is exploiting the weak and vulnerable Nigerian institutions to commit its crime. You know, there are some things that have been happening that we are all shocked. Some hackers of your WhatsApp will be testing people, and they will be courageous enough you to give their calling, account number. Calling people. Yes, they are calling people, and then they will give their account number that pays also amount of money to this account. And we should expect that a, a, an efficient country for anybody to be able to open an account, there must be a database. For anybody to be able to use telephone, there must be a database. But you know what, tech, what ridicules the whole thing is that sometimes people will call you and you look at the ID. It will just tell you uh, uh, Obama the tailor. Mm. How will <laughs> communication company register Obama the tailor? Are you the organizer? So it means that people have registered all sorts of things without, you know, they adequate, it. and they get it all with it. Sometimes somebody will come and say, yeah, leba. Somebody say, leba. I say, okay, how do they manage to register? So even this thing we are talking about, registration and all that, it's, it's, all, it's, it's not working. So and I think that's why I had the courage to go to the extent of same, and you saw people testing their account numbers and all sorts of things without even fear that they could be interrupted or be arrested by so it's a challenge to the Nigerian state. It's a challenge to the DSS. It's a challenge to all of us as Nigerians that we should not allow terrorism to take over the space. And I hope this is an opportunity for Nigerian security uh, apparatus to prove that, look, 
All hope is not lost. All right. Adekule, let me come to you. Are these guys really hard to capture? And of course, what's now the essence of this uh, synchronization, uh, uh, link your BVN with your NIN? I mean, Nigerians stand on the queue for so long without any results. Well, I believe it's very difficult for us as we are a nation because our systems, institutions are still very, very weak. If it is not, it is the brazenness, the absolute disregard for a criminal to just use the social media, use the phones, and do all sorts of things. Is it not alarming? It is. Why do we still battle with the problem of a kidnapping in Nigeria if our systems are not, you know, porous? You, yes, when they kidnap, they used they use mobile phones to make calls. They use, you know, all sorts of things to reach out, you know, to families of the few victim to pay. You get what I'm saying? And this go, this has been going on for a long time. What have you have you been able to eradicate it? Look at the way we use phones. People calling you and Many, many times, it's very difficult to track them. You uh, see many people. It, can, it is. It, it's a, I don't think, well, I don't know. Okay. Well, okay. Because I want to, let me create this instance. When it comes to cyber bullying, cyber harassment, you see DSS so quick to arrest some of these young men. So if someone is going on live video, TikTok, to offer money, offer assistance to young Nigerians. So what stops DSS from getting that kind of person if they can arrest young Nigerians who cyber uh, harass others? Uh, we, we are waiting in this regard. This because, is not the first time. No, this is, but we are waiting on the DSS, but it's not only DSS. The Nigerian police also has you know, enough you know, uh, equipment to do this. We also have all other agencies. But we are seeing collectively, as we are, it is an embarrassment on the Nigerian state because it's a frontal attack on, on the security architecture of the nation when people, criminals, can just come around and do everything. You see, it's a sign of loopholes or gaps in the uh, ICT you know, uh, facilities of Nigeria, I mean, in the security architecture. And we need to do something about it. People have been calling for <laughs> regulating social media. You see, social media are very beautiful. You can use it to do a lot of beautiful things. But you can, it, it's, it's, it only shows that you can also use it for criminal activities. This is one of them. There is no way our system will be efficient and we continue that, to that, have... That's the video. That's yeah. The video. <laughs> there is no way our system will be efficient and we'll be having uh, problems of kidnapping almost every time in Nigeria. And it has been on for years. We have not been able to eradicate it. It is a shame, honestly, because when you are kidnapped, they will get across to your family. You will pay money. So perhaps some some money moves through, you know, banks or hands or whatever, even if mm -hmm. through P P O S. And what happens? We all keep quiet and pray that this will be the end. But before you say amen, another one happens again, and you ask. What manner of system are we running? Mm, I don't get, is it high time we uh, started taking uh, social media regulations seriously in Nigeria? Do you think we are too lenient with these regulations? I think, uh, apart from regulation, we regulate for so many reasons. Um, but it seems in terms of using the advantage of social media to enhance crime detection, we are, we, are, we, are, okay. we are just not there. Mm. If you notice what happened in the U.S. recently that um, uh, former President Trump was shot, the FBI director said one thing. Why do I do investigation of Matthew Cook who fired the shot? He was citing instances and days and time that Matthew Cook was using the internet. Mm. And at what point he, he, he Googled and tried to find out the person that shot Kennedy, how, what was the distance? Mm. What weapon did they use? They were able to, to know the time and date, the particular hour. That means that when you are using Google, if I search my Google today, there is my phone number linked up to it. So 
the intelligence community can know what particular things I'm checking on the internet. If I check anything on terrorism, how to make bomb, an efficient security system will be able to detect that, oh, Adiwali Adi on social time checked. So, but you see a lot of things that are happening on our on the social space. Some people will even cropped the uh, Facebook of the president. I know of the first lady that some people are using. I started following, you know, the some of them. I don't know that this cannot be the first lady. But what is the police doing about such people to track them down? That are using the, you know the names of the president, the names of the first lady to even do people on social media. So the social media is an advanced technology that can that in many ways has been able to help people to detect crime. Because by holding your phone, even when you put it off, your location, global yes. system, yes. they will be able to know where you are you are at a particular moment. Even, that is, there, even when there is no signal. Even when there is no, when there is no signal. That is important. Of, look at this fellow that you know, was arrested in Dubai. Uh, or Shpupu, what's his name? You know, people are saying that uh, WhatsApp is safe and all that. Me, I'm being careful. Because if you look at the report of the FBI, the CIA, they were bringing out his conversations on, on WhatsApp. That means that your WhatsApp is also not safe. You know, immediately I saw, I said, ah, that means WhatsApp is also not safe. So we, we need to make best advantage of technology to detect crime. And that's why you see a lot of people on social media. They post video. You know, people want to go and shoot others. They put their picture there. And nothing is happening. Terrorist organizations. So you now ask yourself, what is the IT section of the DSS doing? I know the DSS so they have a lot of reservation. Because in those days, the they used to operate on the ground. You don't know them. And they are very efficient information network. Journalists work for them. People are carrying those beans. They work for them. Vendors work for them. Uh, you know, um, faith-based organizations work for them. So that's how they enrich their database with a, a low sort of information. But now, the idea is that we put on uniform. All right. And so I'm, I'm confused about yeah, the kind of security video. That that's a very scary video. That's a very scary video. And we yes. have the relevant security agents. We need to rejig our yes. security yes. system yes. so that we can... All right, gentlemen, let's move on quickly. Still about security. For the people of Benue State, North Central Nigeria,